Hi guys, let me teach you another advanced technique called variables. You go in your scenario settings and you have this variable tab. A variable allows you to basically store an information that is not correlated to a character, an item, or a location, because those you can have states that you can know what state they are in. I'm gonna give you an example. In Noir, uh, players have money. And uh, in order for the writer to to manage this money, they created wallet uh, wallet variable in which uh, they could put uh, how much money the player has when they start the game. And now I have this wallet variable. Uh, we could imagine that uh, when we go to Mary, uh, no, Mary is, is not with us anymore, but when you go to his daughter and uh, you talk to Colette about herself, yes, I'm Mary's daughter. Let's imagine that she says, please don't ask more question. Here is $10. And let's say that what we want to do after we read this is that the uh, we basically set variable, add on tree variable, and we're going to pick our wallet and we're going to say that it's going to increment by 10. And so the, the result action of this will mean that after we ask Colette about herself, uh, we can increment the variable value by plus 10. But there is plenty of other scenario you can use this. This is a much more advanced technique, but it gives you an incredible amount of freedom in, in the way you can manage states beyond characters, items, and locations. Hopefully this was useful. Thank you so much, guys, for watching.